Hey guys, big ol' just me and Dime Detective back out on the hunt. Uh, if you're not familiar with my channel, my name is John. I'm on um, YouTube as the Digologist. Uh, I've got a couple hundred videos, and I uh, really appreciate it if you take the time and check out some of our stuff. We have got some great finds from here in Virginia. I'm in the Hampton Roads area. Um, this field right here is going to be a neighborhood, and that's kind of our specialty. Uh, me and Dime Detective and Doug Money is going to hunt this today in this brutal heat, but we're going to you know take breaks when we have to. Um, Hopefully we'll pull some more stuff out of here. Dime Detective came out yesterday and he pulled a two real out of here, uh, 1785, and it is a beautiful coin. So we're hoping there's a lot more. You guys stick around and check out what we find. All right, guys, my first target out here in this new field is a uh, debuckle, probably some horse tack. And uh, this was bouncing between 25 and 30. I wasn't sure if I was gonna dig a piece of aluminum but um, once I got some of the dirt out of the hole, it, the signal went to a, a steady 28. So, happy with that find. Now I'll see if I can find some more relics or coins. All right guys, me and Dime Detective out today in the field. And uh, he's the first one to get a relic. And it's a button with a nice round shank. I've never seen one with a shank like that before being that small of a button. But uh, it's not a flat button. It's like a concave. Yep, it's concave. I think that's an old one there. We'll have to clean it up. See if we can see any design on it. Congrats! All right, guys, check this out. I got a 1213, and I usually dig those. Sometimes they're shotgun shells, but uh, this is a 1897 V nickel. And I'm not sure if the focus is coming in, but it's in good shape. Really good shape. I'll put a picture of it on the video so y'all can see it better. This gives me hope. So far, I got a D buckle and a um, V nickel. All right, let's keep on rolling. Well, this was coming up 20 to 21. Appears to be an old lock. It might have been a lock on some utility or something. It doesn't look like a regular lock. Sometimes they make cheap locks for utility boxes. All right. I got to find something better than that. Let's keep on going. All right, this one was a little bouncy. But uh, you can see it's a square nail. During uh, flies are coming out this morning, and they're trying to tear me up. But yeah, you can see it was broken off, but that was a square nail at one time. I like finding these. Uh, they're pretty cool. Some old history there. All right. Let's move on to the next one. All right, this strange looking thing. I think it was coming up 17, 18. At first, when I first saw it, I thought it was a cut coin. But you can see... It was kind of smashed, whatever it was, or maybe it was made like that. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but uh, I'll research that. You see that was hollow in there. It's a possibility that it was flat. It could have been, I don't know, just about anything, capped or something. That's really strange. All right, there's more targets in this area, so I'm going to keep on swinging. All right, guys, right over there about... Eight feet away from me, I got a 2021, and this came out of the hole. So we're gonna clean it off and see what it is. All right. Oh, look at there. Look at there. That is an IHP. <laughs> That's my first coin I've found out here, and this is my third time here. Let me see the date on that. Clean the back off. Oops, let's not give it back to the ground. Hmm. Let's get to the camera there. All right, let me look at it in the sun. See if I can get the date to show up. Oh yeah, look at there. 
it looks like 18 it's either 1884 or 1894 hold on a second let's see gotta get that just right on the sun actually uh, it's not true that this is my first coin I, my first day here I actually found an 1897 uh, B nickel so this is uh, my second coin It looks like 1894, but I'll check it out and let you know for sure in the video. All right, guys, that's a that's a great find. I'm hoping to find some Spanish. And uh, Daniel, he's way over there. Let me uh, zoom in on him. Yeah, he's way over there along the wood line. All right, guys, stick around. There's more good stuff to come. All right, guys. Dime Detective found something pretty cool. Two-piece button. Look at that. Let me, uh, that let is, me clean it off. That is cool. Yeah. Not the Gatorade. Why not? <laughs> well, you got water. I mean, it's hot out. And it it <laughs> probably is a little thirsty. It's been laying in the ground a long time. It probably is a little thirsty. It needs some electrolytes. Look at, look at the edge of that. Look at the gold gilt on that thing. Look at the edge of that. Wow, talk about gold gilt. That is uh, amazingly uh, in good shape. I don't know what that design is. I don't want to rub it too much. Hold on a second. Can you make it out? Looks like a bunch of R's. Hmm. I bet Google Lens will tell me. Looks like Rolls Royce to me. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> well, we'll clean this up. Maybe Dime Detective can get a uh, really nice uh, identification on it. That's a good looking button. I mean, it is. That's my relic category. That is cool there, buddy. Anybody ever seen one of these? Go ahead and drop a comment. All right, congrats, man. All right, guys. Uh, Dime Detective, we did some research. He found it first. Uh, what is that, man? Well, on the back it says American Supply Company. On the front it says PRR. When I look it up, American Supply Company button PRR. It's a Pennsylvania Railroad button. Pennsylvania Railroad button. Now, that is a cool find. Look at that thing. Gold gilt. Gold gilt all over it. That was probably um, a farmer's button or a hunter's uh, button off their coat uh, from a long time ago. All right, man. Well, I got a bouncy signal here it's about 22 up to 27 and this looks like some kind of little tack probably from a horse saddle or something it's been bent over that's the only thing I found other than a modern bullet we'll keep on going for a little while I got this piece of iron down about six inches part of some old farm equipment most likely of course, I'm not, I don't know a lot about farming, but this was probably something on, on a tractor or something. I don't know. If anybody's seen this before, go ahead and drop a comment. All right, guys, I got this buckle. Um, the numbers were bouncing around. I got it out of the ground, and I swung it over the coil. It's coming up 27, 28, like silver would. I believe that it's a silver plated buckle. I don't believe that it's uh, all silver. Silver plated buckle. I'm not sure how old this is, but uh, that's pretty nice looking find there. I'll check it out later, see if it's uh, silver plated brass or copper. All right, let's keep on going. All right, guys, I got a 19 signal over here. Pull this out of the ground. This is pretty interesting. Not exactly sure what it come off of. Looks like some type of handle to something. See that little spot there? It's got a little groove in it. I'm trying to get an ID on this. If I figure it out, I'll let you know in the video. That's pretty cool. 
All right, guys. You know this guy, Dime Detective. Dime Detective is burning it up. Yesterday, what'd you find? 1785 Carlos the Third, two real, Mexico City, Mexico mint mark. Two real yesterday, and today, look at that. That's a one real, Carlos the Third, 1781. One real. Oh my God, that thing is in great condition. And I did the same thing last month. Yep. So you got three Spanish silvers this year so far, right? Yes, and it's been a slow year. Look at that. That is beautiful. And that there is what? I think it's a trigger guard off of a rifle? musket rifle. Okay. All right, cool, man. Congratulations on those two reals, man. Me and Doug's going to have to do some digging to catch up with you. All right, down the tether, we got something. What is that? Nice big old D buckle. Probably off of a horse saddle would be my guess. It could be a belt, but what do I know? For size comparison, put it in my little hand. <laughs> All right, that's nice, man. That's a good find. And what was the numbers on the eight? I mean, on the uh, 31, Equinox? 31, 32. 31, Same thing 32. as the two real. Oh, yeah. Cool find, man. What do you got there? Looks like an old spoon. Silver plated, possibly? Uh, it could have been plated at one time. Yeah, I thought I'd see something on that spoon bowl there. Yeah. We've been uh, coming back here for probably a good five years now. Oh, yeah. Every time you think you found it, all you really haven't. Take a look at that tree to your left, how big that sucker is. That's a monster. That's a huge tree. If they ever cut that down, that would be a heartbreak. The picture, the video doesn't do it justice. It's yeah. probably a good seven or eight feet in it, diameter at the trunk. Yeah, it's it's huge. All right, man. Congrats. Let's keep on going.